Are you tired of endlessly scrolling through Amazon to try to find the best accessories for your iPhone, only to find out that the thing you purchased doesn't even deliver on the promise? Well, I've searched through hundreds of products and tested dozens of those products to bring you guys this final list of more than 25 of the best iPhone accessories. And full disclosure, I purchased all these products with my own money, none of them were sent to me for free, and I've declined every offer from every brand to try to get into this video. If they want their products in this video, they have to earn it. If you appreciate videos like this, let me know by dropping a like down below and leaving a comment because that'll be a big help with pushing this video out to more people. Lastly, I do have affiliate links to all of these products in the description, so if you want to support the channel, purchasing the products through those links is a great way to do it at no extra cost to you. And as always, I have time codes for this video so you guys can quickly jump around to find the accessories you care most about. With all that out of the way, let's get started. This ESR Halo Lock wireless charger snaps on magnetically and has a friction style kickstand so you can prop your phone up to just about any angle while it's charging. It works great in landscape mode and can technically work in a portrait mode, but at a very steep angle. The kickstand can also fold back so you can lay your phone flat or just make the charger easier to travel with. The one downside is that this won't charge quite as fast as Apple's official MagSafe charger. So I recommend using this for a nightstand, desk use, or for traveling. If you just want the fastest MagSafe charger, you're still best served by the official Apple charger. I took a look at a bunch of different MagSafe wallets and landed on these two different options for different purposes. I recommend the Moft wallet if you want the most compact option and don't mind being limited to two or maybe three cards. You can technically fit more, but the wallet will likely start to break apart if you keep more than three cards in there for an extended period of time. If you pull back the top, then pull this hourglass shape out, It'll fold down and allow you to use it as a kickstand in both portrait and landscape orientations. And in case you're wondering, it does have a vertical alignment magnet to keep it aligned on the phone instead of twisting around freely. This also works with any MagSafe case. And if you wanna see my favorite MagSafe cases, stick around because I'll be getting to these in a minute. The second option for a MagSafe wallet is the ESR Halo Lock wallet. This wallet has a friction hinge, which allows it to stay in almost any orientation. This means you can use it as a kickstand at just about any angle you want. And you can easily switch between portrait and landscape modes just by rotating your phone on the wallet. In terms of card storage, there are three different card locations. There's a slot for a single card on the back, and there's a cutout at the bottom to help you push the card out when you need it. You can also fit up to three more cards on the inside pocket. And there's even a slot with a window on the other side for an ID, allowing you to carry up to five cards. And in case you're wondering, this wallet also has the alignment magnet to keep it aligned on your iPhone. One more important thing to note about both of these wallets is that you won't be able to use wireless charging while they're attached to your phone. But that's not too big of an issue because the wallets do slide on and off easily enough. If you've seen my previous smartphone accessory videos, you'd know that the Joby Grip Tight One Micro Stand has been my go-to mini tripod for years and has yet to be replaced by any other stand because it's just that good. But thanks to the MagSafe magnets on the latest iPhones, I now have a new recommendation that's an iPhone exclusive, and I'll tell you what that is right after I show you why the Grip Tight One Micro Stand is so amazing. For starters, it folds completely flat and can even fit inside that tiny pocket on your jeans that no one uses. When it's unfolded, the ball head allows you to set this up on uneven surfaces and still get a level shot. I've used this tripod dozens of times throughout the years to get family pictures because it's just so easy to set up and incredibly portable. So what's the new MagSafe only tripod? It's this foldable iPhone stand and ring mount. It snaps onto the back of any MagSafe iPhone or case and can unfold to be used as a grip assist or you can fold it out further and use it as a kickstand to use your phone hands-free in both portrait and landscape orientations. And if you adjust it a bit further, it can also be used as a camera stand. Now this may not have the ball head like the Joby micro stand, but since you can rotate the phone, it can help adjust for slightly uneven surfaces. Now, obviously this stand will prevent wireless charging from working, but since it's held on with magnets, you can just pop it off whenever you need to charge. Let me know which one of these two stand styles you prefer down in the comments below. In terms of car mounts, you've got three great options. If you want the most compact option that supports the fastest wireless charging, I would check out the ESR Halo Lock Vent Mount Charger. This one has a rotating clip, which allows you to mount to both vertical and horizontal air conditioning vents. There's also a stabilizer pad at the bottom for added stability. There's a USB-C port at the bottom, and it comes with the required USB-C cable, but no charger. 
But don't worry, I'll be discussing the best car chargers in a minute, so stay tuned for that. This charger also has a fan inside to keep both the charger and your phone cool, allowing you to charge even faster. I've taken several long drives using this charger and it charged my iPhone quickly and held it securely even over big bumps. One very important thing to know about all MagSafe chargers is that if you're gonna be using a phone case, the case must be a MagSafe case with magnets built into the case. If you try to use a regular case with a MagSafe charger, the phone will likely fall off the charger when you hit any bumps or potholes while you're driving. If you don't know if your case is a MagSafe case, take it off your phone and try to stick it to a MagSafe accessory. If it sticks, it's MagSafe. If it doesn't, it's not. If you want a traditional wireless charging car mount with arms that can hold any phone, I would check out the IATI One Touch 2 wireless mount. This has been my go-to wireless charger for all of my phones since I typically use Android phones. This allows me to quickly switch between my iPhone and my Samsung phone without needing to change my mount. This mount can flip around, rotate, and extend. It has a button in the middle that's used to automatically close the arms around your phone when you press it into the stand. And you can remove the phone with one hand by squeezing the two wings until they click. The bottom cradle can also be adjusted for different sized phones just by pressing the button on the back and sliding up or down. And that also comes with a car charger adapter, which has a secondary five watt charger that can be used at the same time. The adhesive pad holds it pretty well, but I must admit that it doesn't hold it quite as well as some of the older IATI car mounts. Fortunately, it does come with a mounting pad in the box, which I did need for my car's dashboard. If the suction pad ever gets dirty from taking it on and off a bunch of times, you can just rinse it off in the sink, let it air dry, then you're good to go. You can get this mount in a dashboard and windshield version, which is what I have here, or a CD player and air vent version, depending on your mounting needs. I'll have links to both in the description below. If you don't care for wireless charging because you're always plugged in for Apple CarPlay, then I recommend the IATI One Touch 5 mount, which is the much less expensive non-wireless charging version of the mount. It has all the same great features, just without the wireless charging. But it does add a small magnetic strap that you wrap around your cable. This strap then magnetically attaches to the back of the mount, making it much easier to quickly grab the end of the cable when you get in your car. If you're getting the non-wireless charging car mount and you're not gonna be using Apple CarPlay, then you wanna pick up the Basis 160 watt car charger. That's right, 160 watts. This can charge a laptop at up to 100 watts, an iPad at up to 30 watts, and another device at up to 30 watts as well, all at the same time. And I did verify this with a power meter. It's legit. Basis even included the high power USB-C to USB-C cable that you'll need to get the full 100 watts of charging capability. The build quality is great and it has a blue ring that illuminates to let you know that it's plugged in all the way. The only downside is that it's pretty beefy, coming in at one and five eighths inches across the face of it. If you want something a bit more compact, but still capable of fast charging your devices, you can check out the Mananam 73 watt or 101 watt chargers. Both of these are notably smaller than the basis charger if you don't mind losing some power output. All of Apple's latest iPhones support 20 watt fast wired charging, but Apple's official 20 watt charger is unnecessarily massive. So I recommend getting Anker's ultra compact 20 watt charger. In fact, Anker's charger is about the same size as Apple's five watt charger with four times the power output. So if you want the fastest charger in the smallest form factor, this is it. The one downside with this charger is that it only has one port. So if you want a multi-port charger that can charge all of your devices at their max charge speeds, I'd recommend the Link On 166 watt charger. This will let you charge a laptop at 100 watts, an iPad at 30 watts, and two other devices at up to 18 watts each, all at the same time. And I confirmed this one with the power meter as well. This charger also includes two converters in the box, one for the UK and one for the EU. I've been using this as my main desk charger for almost two years now and it's worked perfectly. If you often misplace your phone, keys, bag, or even your pet, then Apple's AirTags are a must have accessory for you. You can place the tag directly in a bag or get a keychain holder like this one and attach it to anything you want. When you wanna find the lost item, just open up the Find My application on your iPhone, then you'll be able to see the last known location, make the tag ring, or you can tap the Find Nearby option to get directional guidance complete with a distance measurement. Lots of people ask what my favorite case and screen protector are, so I'll run through them briefly. But first, 
To be clear, these cases are not sponsored, they're just legitimately my favorite cases. So for the best slim protection, check out the Torres O stand case. Not only does this feel premium, have super tactile buttons, offer great drop protection for both the screen and the cameras, but it's also MagSafe so you can snap it onto any MagSafe accessory. And the MagSafe ring pops out to double as a kickstand that can be used in both landscape and portrait orientations. You can even use it as a ring holder in various positions to hold your phone more securely. If you want a bit more protection, check out the Spigen Tough Armor MagFit case. This case also has tactile buttons and great screen and camera protection, but takes drop protection a step further with a proprietary foam insert for added protection. And as you can see by this ring design, it's also a MagSafe case. Looking at the back, there's a cutout to show off your Apple logo, as well as a small kickstand that you can pop out to stand up your phone in two different landscape orientations, a more vertical position and a more angled position. Unfortunately, the kickstand does not work in portrait mode. If you want apocalyptic protection, look no further than the Supcase Unicorn Beetle Pro Mag Case. This is a rugged two-part case with flaps to cover your charge port, as well as your mute switch. And it even has its own built-in screen protector. This is also a MagSafe case with a spring-loaded kickstand for standing your phone up in just one landscape orientation. Flipping the phone the other way will be too much weight and the kickstand will just fold in. If you don't care for a MagSafe case and just want the best kickstand case, take a look at either the Torres Moon Climber or the ESR Metal Kickstand case. Both use a kickstand with a friction hinge that allows you to adjust the angle of your iPhone to exactly what you need. And they also support standing your phone up in portrait mode. If you already have a case for your iPhone that you love, but it's not a MagSafe case, you can force it to be a MagSafe case by getting this MagSafe ring attachment from ESR. Just line the ring up with the included alignment tool, stick it on, and you're good to go. However, keep in mind that this won't work on cases with protrusions like a kickstand or on cases with heavily textured backs. What's more impressive is you can put this on the back of something like a Galaxy S22 Ultra and turn that into a MagSafe compatible phone. If you want a great glass screen protector that's easy to apply, check out the Spigen EasyFit screen protector. It comes with an alignment tray to guarantee proper alignment and you get edge to edge coverage. And speaking of your screens, if you're looking for a great microfiber cleaning cloth to clean your screens, I've been using the Magic Fiber Cleaning Cloths for a couple years now, and they work great. You probably already have a wireless charger by now, but if you don't, or you're looking for an upgrade, here are my favorites. If you have an iPhone, Apple Watch, and wireless charging AirPods or AirPods Pro, and want a compact, premium looking and feeling three-in-one charger, look no further than this charger here. It's a MagSafe charger that can fast charge your iPhone, and charge your Apple Watch and AirPods at three watts and five watts respectively. The stand is made out of metal and has a single LED to tell you when any of your devices are charging. It also supports charging your iPhone in both portrait and landscape modes. And in case you're wondering, the LED does stay on as long as the device is charging. So if you're planning on using this on a nightstand instead of on a desk, and you're bothered by charge lights when you're trying to sleep, you may wanna skip this one. If you don't want a MagSafe charger because you'll also be charging non-Apple smartphones and you still want a three-in-one charger, then I'd recommend this charger here. It has three LEDs to let you know which device is charging and the LEDs only stay lit for 20 seconds. This makes it great for using on a nightstand because the LEDs won't be on all night right in your face. In terms of charge speeds, this has the same 10 watt, five watt, and three watt combo that the metal charger has. If you only wanna charge a MagSafe iPhone and Apple Watch, and you want the guaranteed fastest charging, then this metal charge stand is the way to go. It's a premium looking stand, and both the official Apple MagSafe charger and the Apple Watch charger, which are sold separately, slide snugly into the holes. If we take a look at the back, you'll see two channels to route the cables through. This allows for a very clean look on your desk. If you want the best three-in-one travel charger, look no further than this one here. It has a MagSafe pad for your iPhone, a five watt charging pad for the AirPods, but only a two and a half watt charging pad for the Apple Watch, which will be a bit slower than the other chargers on this list. The Apple Watch charger can also be flipped up if you have a watch band that doesn't allow your Apple Watch to lay flat. And there are three LEDs to let you know which devices are charging. You can also fold the pad into a triangle that holds together magnetically. This allows you to use it as a stand for your phone while you charge it, and you'll still be able to use the watch charger in this orientation. 
as long as the watch band isn't so heavy that it pulls your watch down. If you want the most portable charging option for your iPhone, you'll definitely want to check out this 6,000 mAh Basis MagSafe power bank. Just slap it onto the back of your iPhone, press the button, and you'll start fast wireless charging your phone. This is the slimmest battery pack I could find and also works to charge your AirPods and even non-Apple products. You can even plug in your Apple Watch cable and charge that through the USB port while also wirelessly charging a second device at the same time. And if that wasn't good enough, the power bank itself supports 20 watt fast charging so you can fill it back up quickly. An honorable mention for a power bank would be the ESR 10,000 mAh kickstand power bank. This will be notably thicker, but give you a greater charge capacity and a kickstand if that's what you're looking for. I'll have links to both of them in the description and a pinned comment below. Any iPhone with iOS 16 or newer supports something called a continuity camera, which is where you can use your iPhone's camera as a webcam for your MacBook. To make this feature even more useful, you can get a special laptop stand for your iPhone. I recommend the Belkin stand if you want an easy to use MagSafe stand that's portable and doesn't permanently attach to your MacBook. The Belkin stand also has a bonus feature of a pop-out ring that allows you to prop up your phone on your desk. Or you can use the ring as a grip when you're holding your phone. And since it's MagSafe, it pops off really easily when you don't need it. If you don't have a MagSafe compatible case or iPhone, you can get this ultra compact mount, which uses a spring to hold your phone in place. And if this is a feature you're gonna be using often, you can get this mount, which sticks to the back of your MacBook with 3M adhesive. Once it's attached to your MacBook, you can slide it out to the side and have quick access to your phone, or slide it up and flip the mount around to use your phone's camera as a webcam. Then when you wanna put it away, just take your phone off, and slide the mount behind your screen. Now that you have the best accessories for your iPhone, check out this video here to see why you're probably only using about 20% of what your iPhone's cameras are capable of. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys and I'll catch you in the next one.